If you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. You'll be glad you did. This is the Morning Swim Show for Wednesday, April 17th, 2013. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings. Today in the Phoenix Monitor, we'll be joined by Nimrod Shapira Bar Orr and Adam Smalls. With their collegiate careers done at the University of Arizona, the two are teaming up now for a new website venture that they hope will, co they will, that they hope will help college students be more successful in the classroom. And Nimrod and Adam join us now via Skype from Tucson. Guys, good to see you. How are you today? Good, Jeff. How are you? Good. Doing very awesome. Thank you very much. So the website is called classbuster.com. And um, to try to encapsulate it into a few words, basically the goal is to create a centralized place for students to buy and sell notes and outlines. Is that kind of a good way to describe it? Basically, yeah. Okay, so um, Nimrod, I understand that the idea came from, from your mind way back in your high school days. Tell us more about that. Exactly. I went to the ball school basically for my last two years of uh, school. And I figured that student athletes basically have a problem of going to school and doing swimming at the same time. We need to make sure that we set our priority list straight and we need to make sure that we can have enough time to do both at a really high level. So I basically came up with an idea and I started doing it by sending emails and getting emails from my friends of uh, study notes and stuff that I missed while I was traveling. And how did that idea evolve when you got to the University of Arizona? So basically when I got to Arizona, I saw that there is much more traveling. We have many competitions. We need to make sure we're doing really good in swimming and in school. So it, it was something that a lot of student athletes really needed to have, a platform that gave them a way to share, sell, and buy notes. And Adam, how did you get involved in this whole project? So I graduated last December. And um, I was coming to the end of my collegiate career, and I wasn't real sure what I wanted to do. And it was actually just one random day after practice. Nimrod and I were sitting in the hot tub, and I kind of was like, "Hey, we should uh, we should bring Class Buster, you know, tweak it a little bit, and and we could really take this to another level." And I had some ideas, and we sat down for a couple of weeks and just wrote everything down, and then we came up with something, and it's his the rest is history. All right, so. As I said, it was, it was an encapsulated idea, but basically the, the, the goal of Class Buster is to have a centralized place for students to buy and sell um, their class notes and outlines. Uh, when did the website make its debut and how, how was the reaction when um, it first got out there? Basically, in the beginning, we had two sides. We had professors who really liked the system because they saw another way for students to share their school materials. We need to remember it's all about social network today. Everyone very social. Everybody share everything with each other. So we had those professors who really supported us. We also had some professors who saw that as a another way for students to maybe cheat or find an easy way to do the schoolwork. We made sure and we focus really hard on making our system very ethical and a place for students to basically get as many tools as they can in order to do better in school but to keep it ethical as we can so we understood very early in stages when we built Classbuster that if we want to make it a very very big uh, business we need to go with the school and with the professors so that's how it came that we really need to have an ethical way for students to do better in school. So basically you have the backing of a lot of the professors that uh, yeah. you're going to be getting notes from, uh, from the classes you're going to be yeah. getting notes from. Yes, right in the beginning we had uh, some good feedback and some bad feedback. We used the bad feedback as a way to improve our system and make sure we can also show the professors who didn't like us in the beginning that we are only there to help students. So right now we have a uh, 
pretty much full support from the professors, schools, and departments. And when did the website start? We started, I mean, the first prototype that I uploaded was my freshman year, which was 2009, but the actual operating platform that we have today, which provide buying and selling notes and tutoring platform, which is very big, and a group sharing platform, which is built for Greek life, uh, been uploaded a year, a year and a half ago. And Adam, you know, were, did you ever have that kind of experience that Nimrod was talking about where traveling for meets and things like that, that you were kind of falling behind and you needed this kind of system? Oh, yeah. I mean, every student athlete will test that when you're traveling for a meet, the last thing you can do is study for tests. Like, you don't want to bring your textbooks. They're heavy. You're missing class. You can't take notes. It's every student athlete knows that that's, that's a struggle. And, um, I mean, the fact that Nimrod already came up with something where you can find these notes in study guides is, is why I was so interested in the first place because I saw that there was a need for it. And then we added a few other things that just makes us that much better of a business. And it's, it's something I'm passionate about because I can relate to it. And Adam, you, you, you and Nimrod have both been mentioning the word student athletes. Has, is this something that could be used very well by people who are just students as well? Oh, this is, this is for everyone. Uh, when we initially made it, it was for stu student athletes who needed that extra help, but we're seeing that a lot of regular students also need that ad additional help. You know, not all students are very good note, ta no note takers, so they can get study guides for their exams, they can get, get the class notes that they may not have been able to take, and anything else that they need, tutoring services, this is, this is a site for everyone, not just student athletes. Now, if I were the type of student who didn't want to go to class and was willing to pay money to simply download all the notes that I need, I would say the Class Buster was a site for me. Do you, are you guys finding that to be the case that a lot of students, I guess lazy students, are gravitating to this site? Again, we try to make sure that a system is not a way for students to find an easy way to either cheat or not go to school. but. But you always find the students who find the ways of cheating or not going to school or just finding the easy route to do things. Those students and that community is going to exist. We're doing our best to make sure that we're providing an extra tool for students to take the extra step to get a better grade. And not to give away any of your trade secrets, but how do you guys make sure that everything that is going on your website uh, is ethical, everything is kind of above the line. So, so obviously we can't monitor every single document that's uploaded to our site, but what we do offer is a way for professors and other students to flag documents. That's something that other sites that are kind of similar to what we're trying to do don't offer. So professors can go on, if they feel like it's academic dishonesty, they can take it down immediately and then we review it. Um, you know, we want this to be very open. We want everyone to know what's on the site, what's what students are looking at because at the end of the day we don't want to be a cheating hub we want to be a complement to a, a student's education now this may be a question a lot of our viewers may be asking uh, especially since you guys were collegiate athletes is were the two of you making money while you were competing for the University of Arizona so absolutely not as a foreign student athlete I mean I had first hand in knowing what the regulations are when admitting to being an NCAA athlete. It was really hard to get admitted to the U of A and get cleared by the NCAA. And during that process of getting admitted to the U of A, which took a few months my freshman year, I formed a really good relationship with the compliance office. And basically, when before I even started the first prototype of Classbuster, I set a meeting with the compliance office at the U of A and I made sure exactly what work by the book and how we do it in the best way. Well, that's good to hear. I'm sure a lot of people probably knew you guys were playing by the book, but just wanted yeah. to make wanted to hear from your own mouths that you guys were doing that. I mean, right. we knew that one day we'll have a lot of eyes watching us, and we didn't want to make this something that it isn't. All right, so Adam, how do schools get involved with having their, their schools and their classes be a part of Classbuster? So there's, there's various ways you can, you can get involved on the site. Um, we have hundreds of universities already uploaded on the site. Uh, so if a student, for example, if they go to USC, they can just go on, make an account, they can upload their own notes. If they choose to try to make some extra money, they can sell it if, for a regular student. If they're a student athlete, then they shouldn't do that. 
Um, if they want to find supplemental study materials, they can go on, look for whatever our site offers for their courses, for their school. Um, the, another way for the primary way that we expand other schools is through the Greek life. Um, our group share platform is for them to share study materials freely amongst these groups. And so right now what I do a lot of the time is go to different sororities, fraternities and speak with them and help get them to use our site as almost a cloud service. And, um, if they're, if they're looking for tutoring, online tutoring, we're going to start holding uh, live video sessions as well as recorded video sessions for a plethora of, of courses from economics, accounting, math, physiology, you, you name it, we, we want to do it all. Now, this is a relatively new um, business venture for you guys, but I'm sure you're already looking to the future. Is there anything that you, you're looking to add to Class Buster in the near future? So right now, we basically want like Adam said on the tutoring platform, we have a way for now to get users by the Greek life. That's how we penetrate schools. And we're looking into a way to really monetize that. And we're doing so by the tutoring platform. We have a, a live tutoring, which is in physical location at the U of A and other campuses. And we have the video tutoring, which basically bring us again to another solution for specifically student athletes. Because once you travel to a meet, you don't get your tutors from your school or you get left behind with notes and stuff. With our online tutoring platform, you'll be able to watch videos on the go basically whenever you want it and wherever you want it. So you don't have to be on campus. You can use your computer, your iPad, or even your iPhone to watch tutoring and see what you missed from school. And we are in the process of working with the U of A athletic department on that. So. We see that as a new thing that we upload to Classbuster and a new way to monetize what we do. Well, this sounds like a lot of work. And to just add on to that, you guys are, are still swimming. Adam, you've got the World University Games coming up. Nimrod, are you uh, looking for a chance to compete at the World Championships for Israel? Yeah, I made my cut last summer, basically, at the Olympics. And my summer is very busy, so I'm excited for it. I have World Championships, I have the Maccabea Games, I have World University Games and Israeli Nationals. So I'll be very busy during the summer, but it's good for us because there is no school over the summer. So we can actually do some swimming. Yeah, I'm sure. And, and definitely it's going to be a lot of hard training for you guys. Adam, tell me about, uh, you know, how, how life has been life, how life has been like for you as a postgrad. I mean, it's, it's different. It's definitely different. Uh, uh, since I've taken on a much heavier role with Class Buster, I've had to adapt my training a little bit. But I've actually, I'm actually very excited with what I've been doing. It's it's a, a way of training that I've always kind of wanted to to do, but not really able to because of being with the college team so much. But um, my my time is is very valuable these days. But uh, I'm I'm making it work and. I'm excited for world use. And well, since you're a sprinter, you definitely don't have to put in the long hours at the pool. True, it's, that's that's true. It helps. It helps that I don't need to do eight grand, but I still need to, you know, lift a lot. I do a lot of land exercise, and you know, maybe I'm not doing as much yardage, but it still takes about the same amount of time because higher rest, just more intensity and stuff like that. But I've, uh, I'm very good with time management, and that's just something that's derived from being a student athlete my whole life. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Both of you have probably learned that very well. Uh, well, it sounds like a great venture, and I wish you guys all the best. Before we go, we've been, I've been hearing the name and saying the name Class Buster a lot, and I can't get the name Ghostbusters out of my head. <laughs> I think you guys need to have a, a catchy theme song like Ghostbusters to kind of tie that all in. Well, walking on it. I think you're onto something. <laughs> I think so. I think so. Well, good luck with that and everything you guys are doing with Class Buster, and uh, best of luck in your preparations for all your meets this summer. Thank Perfect. you. Thank you, Jeff. All right, so that was Nimrod Shapira Bar Or and Adam Small joining us for today's Morning Swim Show, talking about ClassBuster.com. And that'll do it for today's show. I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching.